What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Brian and I are working on my Jeep Wrangler and what I want to do is paint the dash trim pieces here. I don't have a Rubicon and if you've seen on Rubicons, they come with that kind of darker red trim. In today's video, I want to do this body color so it's going to be a little bit different than that but that's the style that I'm going for so it'll look really nice. I'm going to have all this paint and all the materials that I'm using down in the description if you want to do this project yourself. And I'll also have the kit down below too. So if you don't want to paint this, you can actually just take these pieces out, put in the new pieces that are the Rubicon Red, and then call it a day. But I want to paint them body colored. So we have a pretty good amount of work to do to disassemble the dash. I have a or two putty knives that I have tape around. If you have trim removal tool, tools, great. If not, this is plan B. So we need to start by removing basically the uh, AC control unit here. And what I'm going to do is take one of these and kind of fish it in on one side. And I've never done this before, but you don't want to pry this because the more you pry it like a paint can, the more you can kind of scuff up the other parts around here. So you want to pull just like this kind of towards me. And I've actually got a good grip on that so far. And it's going to sound like this is going to break. I've never taken this out before. <laughs> yeah, it's probably just the same metal yeah, plastic tabs. Yeah, so... You'll see in a second. Let me go from the top because there's actually a little bit more room there. There we go. And honestly, that was a lot easier than I was anticipating. Yeah, not bad. Minus the uh, last hang-up here. Dude, that was... That was really easy. Wow. So, I'm gonna leave this right here. You could probably disconnect it if you wanted to. I think we're gonna take the screen cover off and it looks, looks like, like there's a Phillips head on both sides, right? Yeah. That's attached to it. With both of those out, I'm going to do my best <laughs> to not break this. I don't know if we have to take this off, but... Yeah, there could be nothing go. else. <laughs> so look at how cool that is. You know the Jeep is already <laughs> a truck that you can take apart as yeah. we have the roof off? <laughs> so everything else. You need to remove this airbag trim piece in order to get to the bolts that are holding the bottom side of it. And while he's doing that one, there is one bolt right here that's gonna be for this top trim piece, you can see. I don't know how it pops out, so I don't know where the tabs are for it. Oh, okay. There we go. This is actually very, yeah, that's just whole something just comes right out. Just gotta wiggle it a little bit and take your time so that way everything goes back to normal. There you go. To avoid taking off the grab handle here, I have my 90 degree tool. So we're gonna use the Phillips head side. So I'm finding that this is actually a really hard trim piece to get out. I'm starting on the passenger side and basically I've just been wiggling it for like the last five minutes, just trying to break it loose like I just did. I don't know where to pull from because I can't, like I don't know how far back it goes, you know? Just gotta give it that firm pull, almost there. But I, I don't want to, I wouldn't recommend grabbing like the end of it because you could snap it, you know. Be very careful on this trim piece here. And kind of pop it there like you that, you know. All right, so I took a little bit of time off camera just to kind of wiggle this a little bit more. And basically you just have to give it a good firm pull. Now it will come off a little bit harder than how I just did it because some of these clips came off the back. And from there we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that I need to, to go ahead and remove. So there shouldn't be any more bolts that I have to take out or screws. I may just be able to use my tool here. Oh, you could hear one of those pop out without breaking this because that would be an expensive piece probably to repair. There we go, there's one side. All right, so we have the driver piece now out. That was actually pretty easy to do. Moving on to the passenger side now, it's gonna be a little bit more involved simply because the airbag is right behind here. So what I need to do is kind of pull this tab underneath the glove box out of the way so I can go ahead and drop the glove box. There are two 13 millimeter bolts that are up there that we're going to use or that I'm going to loosen in order to do this. With both of those bolts out now, there is one more connector. Hopefully the camera can see that I've already disconnected this yellow wire right here. And so now we should be able to pop this out just like we did on the driver's side. <laughs> That's Way a lot easier, easier once you do the right bolts. There you there go. go. And the so, airbag should be attached. Do we have to cut that zip tie out? 
Or is that coming with us? Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so that's the airbag. Let's be careful. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start with the driver's side piece first and take it apart as much as we can so that way we have less taping to do. So I'm gonna use my tool here. We're gonna take the air vents out of both sides and then we can actually disassemble the chrome pieces just with these tabs on the back. Okay, with both of the air vents out now, if you buy the kit that I have down below where you basically just swap out everything, this should be a very similar process if you're doing that or you're going that way. So just by wiggling around all these tabs, you can get the chrome out. And so of course I'll do that on this side too. And then you should be able to take those new pieces if you decided to get that kit, place everything onto the new one, and then you're all ready to go. Moving on to the passenger side now, we already went ahead and removed the air vents, same process as the other trim piece, except the bolts are a little different. So you just have to grab a separate tool. Now, I don't know if this is the hard part or not. You wanna be careful with the airbag system. I think push it forward. Oh, these black tabs here? Yeah. Because you would have to do this if you got that other kit too. Yeah. You know? I've never messed with an airbag before, so hopefully we're good. If not, <laughs> this video will end abruptly. Perfect. It's just hard with the fingertips. <laughs> so very gently put that over there and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this zip tie I don't know if this is factory or not other ones we've seen videos <laughs> have a hook or something yeah the good thing with the passenger side is we're not gonna tape up any of this this is gonna be covered by that trim piece this will be covered by the trim piece so this is pretty much a good piece to go ahead and paint the driver's side however we are going to tape up all of the black so basically the inner housing here I guess you can say taping one thing you're gonna notice so this black and silver are two separate pieces ultrasonic welded together one thing this can come apart a little bit and this part right here is kind of hidden by this part so last thing we want is to have a silver spot down here so what we're going to be doing is taking actually some of these blue clips using them as a wedge on this underside just to help split these apart a little bit and this being stuck in here is just gonna hold it up as you can see I did it on the other side so now this whole silver is completely shown, same with the one that I just did, and then we're gonna get a much better paint job. With one piece taped up, I'm gonna take some 2000 grit sandpaper and just rough up the surface a little bit. I'm gonna have all of the paint that I'm using down in the description. You'll see I'm using Duplicolor brand, and I'm using a bright red. It's very, very close to the firecracker red on my truck, so I found what would be the closest. And since it's not on the exterior of the truck, this should be a pretty good match. <laughs> So just a quick update, we did three coats of primer, six coats of the paint, and this is coat number one of the clear coat. It is coming out really good looking, and this project has cost me about $30. You could vinyl wrap these pieces. They're relatively flat. The only concern would be all of these circles where the air vents are. I got a test piece of vinyl for about 12 bucks. That was one foot by five foot. It was just a little bit too pinkish. So this project is 30 bucks, and then if you wanted the actual pieces, I found them for about $55. So I think this is going to be kind of the best of both worlds, and uh, it's looking really good. So we have both of these pieces done now. I'll go ahead and show you guys real quick. They are looking really, really good. I love the shine that they have to them. It should be a pretty close color to the Jeep color as well. So we have the driver's side here. We'll go ahead and untape that. Here's our new piece. 
guys, and a first look at it against the Jeep out in the, well, <laughs> what le is left of our sunlight. Wow, but it literally like disappears. Pretty, pretty good match, I do have to say. Yeah, now this, so we do have to kind of pop it in, but we can use the air vents to push, because last thing you guys want to do is yeah. press against fresh paint, unless you've given it like, I don't know, a day or so, so to like, cure. kind of hold here. Yeah. Hey, there we go. That actually, yeah, it's actually in. Sweet, oh nice. dude, this is already looking so good. Look at it against the whole everything. Yeah. It literally, it, I mean, it looks like it should be there, you know? So, give me a sec to put in these four screws up top. All right, here's our passenger side, looking pretty good. So now, we have to put in our airbag cover. There we go. Can I set it upside down? Yeah. All right, airbag is in. And then this piece, we can... We'll do that last. Yeah, pop on whenever. We gotta put those blue things back on it. Fishing that wire back in for the airbag there. I may, you know what, let's open up these air vents first. Yeah. Because this will be the easiest thing to hold on to, maybe. Because the last thing I want to do is hit the front right here. Yeah. But now actually, let me do this, just like that. about there so let me go ahead and reattach and uh for safety measure i'm gonna take a step out in case it explodes all right we're plugged in nothing exploded i need to go ahead and reassemble those yeah. two bolts from up underneath <laughs> This puzzle is fishing in that start button there. Wow. All right, guys, here I'll shut this door so we can get kind of the red, oh, yeah. the red on red. Wow, this looks really good. So there you have it, guys. That is how you tear apart the dash in the JL Jeep Wrangler if you need to do that for whatever reason. But if you're also going to swap out these for whatever color you want to do, whether it's vinyl, paint, or you can get those Rubicon pieces, uh, not too bad of a project, and it it. Uh, spruces it up a little bit on the interior here yeah and being a jeep uh you know bright red it's a bold truck already yeah and even yeah seeing the colors next to each other it looks Pretty really good. really close in person i don't know if the camera picks it up as well but that's definitely sweet but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give it a huge thumbs up smash that subscribe button if you want to see more wrangler videos along with all of our other daily uploads we'll see you guys in the next video